Hello everyone, Zero in the house, and today we're back with another episode of uh, World of Division Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. We have uh, taken one week off uh, just as a break, but we're back on deck, and uh, we're here to provide you with the latest news about today's uh, new content, and today is the 28th of July 2021. So, first thing that we can see is that Charlotte is uh, available in our roster, in the global roster, and uh, we're... Uh, gonna see what she's all about very shortly but before we do that there's two things to uh, look at and the first one is after <laughs> we clear all of this content uh, the first thing to look at is uh, the present for uh, having one of the guilds reach uh, legend in regards of guild rank and uh, everyone else gets to benefit from uh, them reaching uh, that level, working hard and winning almost every game, so thank you guys, thank you VZ4 uh, for uh, getting to legend rank and ha allowing us to have 5,000 free vision. And I'm definitely gonna claim that. Moving on, uh, we are gonna have some new challenges and one of them is in relation to uh, the new 9 million downloads uh, rewards. So what do we have here? Um, we have this 9 million download medals and upon completing these challenges we'll be able to fill up the board and get the additional rewards for it similarly we have a uh, challenge board for charlotte because she's this week's featured unit let's have a look what banners are available to us today as usual we have the standard banner with pd bar for uh, the feature unit which is charlotte today and uh, upon filling this uh, bar up, you'll have 25% chance of getting Charlotte, which is pretty good. Now, uh, Charlotte, she has pretty interesting stats. She seems to be a magical uh, tank, and she's gonna pair very well with a lot of uh, lightning units, especially I would say 9S uh, as a DPS, as a damage dealer and pseudo tank and also Frederica and uh, also we'll be getting Final Fantasy 7 soon so Cloud will be an extremely good match with her as well. If you don't have Black Lena and struggling to fight her, she'll be pretty much a very good counter, especially keeping account uh, whether you have pulled and building more as well. Moving on, we have the 9th step banner for Charlotte and I would recommend pretty much everyone to get up to level 3 uh, that is because uh, we get one Rainbow Broadstone and Awakening Prisms, which are always good to uh, EX our units. Now, I don't particularly am interested in getting her in this account, so I won't pull for her. By the way, I do have uh, an account giveaway. I'm giving this account away. Um, just follow the instructions, follow the link on the top over here, and uh, follow the instruction for that video to be in the draw to uh, be eligible for this uh, World of Division account. Uh, what will happen is, I will extend the deadline from the 31st of July till the 15th of August so that everyone gets the chance to be in the draw. How does that sound? <laughs> Moving on. Nine step, 10 summon with you are guaranteed. Now I strongly, I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's really good if you're a new player but uh, remember the you are guaranteed unit is random so I mean it is good that you have a guarantee but it's not what you're gonna seek for so if you really want a random you are maybe just go to step two um, and then yeah don't complete the board that's my advice and we have this lightning only uh, paid you paid visual summon I always uh, recommend staying away from this. There's better ways of uh, using your paid visual. And these random uh, banners where you get a random applicable unit for 6,000 paid visual, it's a bit too much if you ask me. And that Blossom of Paradise doesn't look uh, um, tempting at all <laughs> in this stage of the game. Now, this is really, you know, similar thing to the 9 step banner. And actually, this is pretty much better value than that. If you don't have a lot of UR units and just want to build up your roster, this is perfect. You get 10 UR 
then you are guaranteed units and uh, you can retry it in a situation where you're not happy with those units. So uh, why not give it a shot? I think that's a better investment of 2000 paid vision. We have the free version of that banner, which is uh, this one. But instead of getting 10 UR, you get 5 UR. And I think that's a fair trade-off. Um, I think I think this is still worth it. And uh, with the fact that you still also get the medals for uh, the mock shop for the 9 million banner. This is really good. Uh, 100, so you'll be getting 1,000 shards in total for 2,000 paid vision. In a situation where you want to build your... Uh, existing roster definitely do it especially if maybe you built like four or five units and you want to build on someone else you know this is really good because at the end of the day if you um get shards for a unit that you have already maxed you get my spheres for that unit and then you can ex it hopefully it's a yexable unit so why not um i was i would consider i would recommend doing this if you have a lot of uh ur units that you want to build and similarly this also I would recommend uh, there's a chance of getting more UR units uh, more shards for UR units obviously 50 is guaranteed but you can get more as well so bang for buck you know 2000 free visual for this is good so I'm pretty happy with the banner so far except for this one <laughs> I'm not sure why they threw it there into the mix uh, but I can see Mary Luke because Mary Luke was uh, is being easy accessible this week so um, I'll talk, I'll touch on that a bit later. And uh, to summarize, summer units, no go. Um, not at least not the one that were released last year in JP. Uh, there is indications that we might get uh, the newer summer units, such as Keton, uh, sorry, such as uh, uh, I can't believe I forgot her name. So one is El Cirel, and the other one is uh, Kilfe. That's the one. So I will strongly avoid pulling on this banner, especially right now, because uh, um, you can't really get shards for these units anymore. The good thing is, if you did this last week, uh, there is a 50% chance of getting either or. Uh, if we look at the drop rates, I just want to touch this real quick. Uh, where is it? So. Drop rate for both Lilith and Keton is 25% in the guarantee slot. And if we go on the drop rate, so yes, they encompass over 50% of the UR guaranteed slot. So that's pretty pretty good if you're after those. Uh, moving on, let's go on to the shop. 9 million download shop. Uh, let's have a look at what's around here. So paid visual 9. Um, looks... For 9 paid visual, I would do this. And same goes for this. This is a really good value if you ask me. Now with the Vision Awakening pa pack, maybe not so much. But uh, the other two I would definitely consider pulling. Uh, now, these are a must, especially for Gil. So I am going to do this straight away. Uh, and uh, I am not going to regret that purchase. <laughs> Uh, now, 3 star, 3 star plus 3, <laughs> nice name. Uh, not 100% sure about this piece of item. Uh, what does it do? It doesn't say. I don't think I would pull this for paid leisure, let's say. I mean, it's a farmable item this week, so I would definitely not do it. In regards of the rest, uh, let's have a look. Oh, wow, you can get Ovalite for a free visual. So if you don't do the daily $1 purchases, I will consider that. And in regards to the rest, I will probably skip. Yeah. Uh, Featuring new unit shop. So we have Charlotte for uh, 60 paid visual a day for five shards. Uh, if you're a whale, I will do it. If you're a minnow or a dolphin, maybe not. Uh, same goes for this 2000 paid visual pack. Uh, the job training pack as well doesn't seem worth it. Um, I would probably get the shards if, I'm a, if I have no other means to build her and EX her. Uh, yeah, and the rest, you know, anything that is guild is usually a fair uh, way, a fair thing to purge. This shop I will stay completely away from and uh, not worth it in my books. And uh, yes, this is pretty much what was going on. Uh, same uh, 
shop as last week, so I won't cover that. Okay. Uh, before we move on, I wanted to go to the mock shop and see what's new this uh, time around. So, in the 9 million download shop, there isn't much that is very interesting. Uh, perhaps what I would pull for really bad is um, Soul Stars, yes. If you want to level 99 a uh, specific unit and you're almost there. Uh, but I am mostly interested in the Broadstone and the Azure Broadstone and the Rainbow Awakening Swordstone which allow you to uh, max an Esper. So I will probably consider the top ones and the rest is just fodder. Uh, so I wouldn't want to touch that. Okay, we have a, we have a PD for uh, Charlock. I believe that is 20 pools. And... Uh, yeah, that's actually a lot. <laughs> and uh, what else? We have... Uh, this is... Okay, this is the PD for last week, so we won't worry about that. Okay, so uh, last day for class match. Uh, if you guys have reached Diamond Master, congratulations. Uh, I hope you enjoy those uh, free 2,000 visual on top of the 5,000 visual we just got. And in the front plane, there's a couple of things to talk about. The first is... We finally have the Earth Selection Quest where you can get Muraga. And you can get Muraga by uh, not dying at a level 1, job 1 quest. So uh, I don't think anyone would die in this quest uh, in the Beast Den. I believe that now we can get Shiva to end the... Uh, was it Gola? No, it wasn't Gola. Uh, and uh, I think it was Ogre, that's the one. So you can get Shiva to 3 star and uh, Ogre as well. Uh, let's have a look. I don't think Ogre has a... I think Ogre is a weaker... Yeah, so Ogre is a weaker Esper, so he is not entitled to a Beast Den, which is pretty crazy. Uh, let's have a look at those Espers uh, before moving on. So Shiva, do I have Shiva? Yes. So, if we go to Asper Training Board, we'll see what new skills she'll get. So, she'll get a 20% boost in Ice Attack, which is amazing. And she gets some extra Accuracy and Pierce Resistance. Now, at first sight, if I don't spec, if I wouldn't spec Shiva for Magic Attack, she seems pretty perfect for a certain guy called Laswell. Uh, look at that Fire Resistance uh, against Rain. And Pierce Resistance for uh, future units. And uh, you can skill up in Evasion and uh, Ice Attack 20%. Not including the fact that there is a Vision card that increases Ice Attack as well. I think, uh, yes, this would be pretty good uh, for him. Uh, it doesn't increase attack, which is a shame. But if you just want to boost that Ice Attack, uh, I would probably do that. And the other one is Ogre. Uh, so let's have a look at Ogre. And what does he get? Not much. He gets... Uh, what is this? 15% uh, defense up, which is not too bad for a tank. Uh, this almost looks tailored for Charlotte, if you ask me. Especially with the uh, slash attack up, attack up. And I don't see any spirit up. But that is because she has it innate. So, yeah probably something to consider um, just as a first thought and uh, let's go back to the far plane and let's have a look at the events for this week and uh, what do we have this week so we have three quests for Charlotte we'll be able to get uh, item for her which is great and then we have the trials of reckoning boys and girls where uh, pretty much you uh, do this quest uh, you Select the team. The team that you have uh, can have a boost, which is great. So the boosted units for this time around are... Let's have a look. Uh, unit vision card bonus. So, uh, summer units, Charlotte, and more. Uh, that will yield the most uh, reward. And if you have one of these units and equip the featured BC, you'll get double the bonus. So uh, in my testing, 
uh, you get 1.36 times the multiplier for your final score, which is great. So any combination of this and this uh, will uh, pretty much sum up the multiplier and uh, give you a boosted score. So uh, uh, pretty much what you do is uh, you do this quest and then you gather the tickets that will allow you to do uh, the boss battles and then uh, upon beating the boss battles you'll get um, the ability to have more medals and uh, do the trial of reckoning gacha <laughs> pretty much the items that are there you'll get them for a uh, random chance and the featured item is this three star crafting uh, three star um, item so i'll post information over here you as usual you can check it out and see where you want to build two plus five and uh, I think the last thing to cover today is story. We have uh, scene three uh, of uh, the second part of the interlude. I haven't done it yet, uh, but I am keen to know what's going to happen to uh, our three main uh, protagonists for this interlude. And uh, I think that is all. Except, no, I want to cover the two... EX units um, for this week, which are Little Leah. Oh no, it crashed. Like I was saying uh, before the crash, <laughs> we have Little Leah, which is uh, uh, EXable. Let's see what she gets. So, magic barrier, magic barrier enhancement. So, raise your own spirit, a season for raises spirit debuff, and bestows barrier that. Reduces magic damage. Wow, she's becoming a pretty good magic tank herself. Uh, providence of light um, enhances, raises uh, resistance to light, which is really good. And uh, her uh, level 25 skill. Uh, wow, that's pretty good. So um, let's see. Wow, that's really good. So she becomes a pseudo arithmetician here, which is pretty crazy. And uh, inflict sounds as well. That would be pretty good against a certain black robe unit, if I'm not wrong. Let's check whether she's um, susceptible to silence. And she isn't, so you can inflict silence of black robe arena, which is really crazy. And uh, the other unit we want to have a look at is Meriduke. Do I have her? Yes, I do. And uh, let's see what her skill set is all about. So, chakra enhancement. Okay, so recover set percentage of HP. And uh, recovers TP. Wow, that is the first skill that we get that can recover TP. It will be pretty good for healers and uh, other units like that. Um, pretty, pretty fancy. Uh, then she gets store enhancement where she also increases her defense and spirit. That is pretty good. So she'll be able to survive more than one hit. And uh, her level 25 skill, rise a strike attack of allies within area around self for three turns and raises on the first tier steering rate. Now, uh, very interesting. I don't think I would go extremely crazy for this buff unless you have uh, a punchy boy team or punchy girl team. Other than that, um, I wouldn't really go out of my way to get Mary Luke to level 25 for this skill. And with that, that is actually all. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Please subscribe. Let's try to reach 100 subscribers. And uh, on top of that, don't forget about the giveaway that has been extended until the 15th of August. I hope to see you all next week. And until then, you guys take care and have a good one. Bye for now.